here we are with a digital pick and shovel where there is just no end of possibility for you to write your own ticket. Uh, in the biz, we call it SaaS, Software as a Service, SaaS. And what I love most of all about SaaS are the endless possibilities and the kind of formulas that you can put together here, which we'll talk about a bit in this video, but you'll also see some links and some information on the page here. Now, before I explain and give you some examples of SaaS, Software as a Service, what I want to explain to begin with is why it is just so important, why it's so valuable in the digital marketing space. The first thing, as is often the case, is it's all about the digits, it's all about the bucks, right? Think about Netflix, think about Amazon Prime, think about uh, Paramount, think about Disney Plus. Think about some of these platforms like Audible where they have our credit card on file and every single month they just take some money from us, every month. And most important, we don't tend to flinch, we don't tend to be bothered in the fact that money has been taken each month because we know what that role Netflix or Disney or Amazon Prime or Audible plays in our life. If we don't want it, we stop it. If we want it, we carry on. That at the essence is the significance of software as a service. Software online has a recurring model, a recurring monthly model where for the use of being on a platform, people might pay anything from $7, seven pounds, seven euros a month, all the way up to 97, 197, in some cases, 497. So the people with the software know and understand there is a lot of money to be made if they can get people month on month, year on year, to allow them to take money off their card. And some of this software is unbelievable. Some of it is used to keep your members uh, in a confined area. Some of the software is used in order to send automated emails that we had talked about before. Some of the software is used for searching and finding information. The software has so many different uses and this is why I'm saying to you there are endless possibilities. What you need to understand is the heavy lifting, the marketing and the selling is done by the software company. They're the ones who say to a business owner or to an entrepreneur, hey, we've got this software, this is what it does, this is how it works, um, would you like it? And what happens online, I don't know why, probably has a lot to do with the whole chemical aspect of dopamine, is that people are always very quick to get their wallet out, get the credit card, and buy that software. And then after that, there's that kind of look of Kevin on uh, Home Alone, where they kind of go, oh my God, how do I use this? I know for a fact, I once had some software that probably for six or seven months, I didn't even take it out of the box, right? It was that confusing, it was that intimidating, yet the marketing that was given to me to say, you need this software, you need to use this software, this software will be great for you. It was world class. So once I got it, I was then in a position where I said, how do I use that? So where's the opportunity here and, and why this big? intro to it. Well, the opportunity is for you to understand and learn that software and be somebody who provides a service to help somebody who has already purchased that software. Now on this page, I've put a few links of software that I have used over the years because I tend to be a real creature of habit. I tend to stay very loyal to my software, probably when I should and could have upgraded into something different, if you like. But such is the discomfort I feel over the years when I go from one email provider to another, or one landing page software to another, or one listening software to that. I just can't be bothered. I would rather stay with it and stay loyal to it and try and figure it out than try and change and change and change. Very few online people are like that. The majority of them have this bright, shiny object put in front of them and they think, wow, I'll get this and I'll get that. And like I said, sometimes it's a, a week later or a month later where they just say, I don't know how to use that. Who can help me put this together? And that's where you come in with this. 
So really understand why software as a service can be such a lucrative pick and shovel for you to provide. You will find different industries. It might be a company that provides accounting software. It doesn't always have to necessarily be this digital marketing. And the real clue with some of these software companies is when they offer this free trial, they say, here's a 14 day trial or here's a 30 day trial. They take away all these barriers that somebody should technically have to use the software that people say, great, I'm going to get it. And then they're in real trouble. So you've almost got to preempt the scenario. You've almost got to think ahead of a situation someone will find themselves in. You learn the software and over time you will find out which pieces of software are, uh, are more sought after than others. You learn that and then you just become a provider of that service. You don't have to invest in that software, although it helps for you to sort of know how it works. But what you're doing is you are using something that that business owner or that entrepreneur have invested in, yet they are not optimizing it. They are not maximizing it. They are not getting the best out of that software. And that's where you come in. Hey, it's Mucha. I hope you are enjoying this digital picks and shovels e-class. But if you would like to actually work with me one on one, where we sit down, we choose and decide which is the best pick or shovel for you to use. And then over the course of 90 days, we work together and with a community of others who are looking to do that. Then go to onelearnedskill.com, one, the word one, learnedskill.com, and you can learn more information about that.